let's talk about some of the most important questions from the research section so we have been working with research very very closely a lot of questions are usually asked from research so when we talk about research first of all there is covariation covariation implies that there are two or more pheno phenomena that exist and they vary together so as simple as that so that is what is covariation varying together then you have any kind of spurious relationship which exists is to be removed it is simply to have a kind of coherent relationship between the items then you put up a generalization it is a kind of proper uh, sequencing of the thoughts and finally a theorization where you interpret the observed covariation so whatever covariations are received would be interpreted as part of theoretization now these have been covered in our section and our lecture on research aptitude so just go back and check out the videos on research for more details the next question is the population information it is very very important now the population information is known as parameter and the sample information is known as statistics so that is the right option a very very direct question again the next is in a thesis figures and tables are included in the text itself so they are not kept separate so if you go through any of the thesis you would have the figures, the tables, the diagrams that run with the text. It's not like a kind of end note or a kind of uh, a list of, uh, you can find list of tables and list of figures separately, but not the figures and the tables separately. Okay. So they are part of the main text because they maintain the flow of the text and therefore need to be part of the text itself. The next question is the research approach of Max Weber to understand how people create meaning in natural settings is identified as. Now we are trying to understand how people are creating meaning to the natural settings and when they are creating meaning it is interpretation of something. So when you have a kind of reality the reality construction is there you are trying to have a kind of subjective perception and uh, sometimes there are situations where predictions cannot be made so interpretation becomes very very important so giving meaning to certain things identified in the settings is important and max weber's approach focused on this so you would have interpretative paradigm as one of the right options the next is which of the following is correct regarding meaning of research so research is a series of systematic activity to find out a solution definitely yes because we uh, in the starting have an hypothesis which is a tentative solution to the problem so ultimate goal is to find a solution to the problem it is systematic logical and an unbiased approach definitely yes uh, there is verification of hypothesis data analysis and interpretation again yes there is intellectual inquiry and quest towards truth definitely it is because we are trying to understand the basis of the knowledge and then enhancement of knowledge is a obvious part of a research so when you are reading so much when you are uh, going through so much review of literature trying to explore new avenues of uh, uh, studies you are trying to enhance the knowledge so all of these would be the right option here the next question that we need to understand is male and female students perform equally well on a numerical aptitude test now this is a null hypothesis uh, because we are not giving any specific relationship that exists between the two we are saying they are performing equally well okay so that there is no particular uh, relationship uh, where i could say men is performing better than women or women is performing better than men no such relationship we are just putting it on a neutral base and therefore it's a null hypothesis now understanding the types of hypothesis is very very important very common question often asked so we have covered a separate lecture on types of hypothesis so just search on the channel itself you would find the uh, the lecture on types of hypothesis go through that in detail the next is the various styles of writing now three major styles the apa chicago and the mla style we have covered that again in a separate lecture so we have the link for that here now what is important we invert the author's name let's say if it is manishika jain we would write it as jain first and then manishika later so you would have inverting the name the last name first then you italicize the longer works 
of books and journals okay so that is important you do not italicize the shorter works for the shorter works you just put a uh, quote around it so that is incorrect and alphabetically indexed reference re list is correct so two three and four are the right options now styles are important uh, I believe in 2015 or 16 you had one of the questions that was uh, asked on styles and since then there were no not much questions that are asked there but yes I want that you should not leave any stone unturned so just prepare the styles carefully the next is which of the following is not true regarding a participatory research so participatory research talks about participation action and research so action talks about experience participation is in the life and then you have research which focuses on the mind and knowledge so it recognizes knowledge as power definitely yes it emphasizes on people as experts then only you can have experience and it's a collective process of inquiry that goes on so all these three options are correct but the idea is not only production of knowledge okay the idea is much beyond uh, production of knowledge where it is a kind of collective inquiry experimentation of experiences that actually occur on ground the next question is in qualitative research so first of all let's understand qualitative and quantitative so qualitative focuses on the quality like uh, i can talk about emotions i can talk about feelings but quantitative focuses on numbers so everything i want to study i would prove through numbers i'll apply some of the statistical tests and have the findings for it so in a qualitative research which of the following is considered as critical so in a qualitative research you have data collection with bottom-up empirical evidences which is very very important so what you have is observation so observational evidence as simple as that so good examples could be case studies uh, let's say we are talking about a COVID-19 scenario. So how the uh, virus spreads, how it um, is actually affecting, let's say, the migrant workers, the economy. We are talking about on a case study basis. So that is a kind of qualitative study. Sim similarly, you can have ethnography. The same example, you can see the impact across various cultures. Some of those would sail through it very nicely. The others would have a very high casualties that could be repo reported. So you would have ethnography. Then you would have phenomenology. How individuals experience certain phenomena. So my experience could vary from your experience. Your experience could vary from some others experience so that is phenomenology and finally you have grounded theory which is where you have it is a kind of uh, bottom-up theory grounded deep in the observable data or the kind of empirical data that is there so that is about the qualitative study the last question from the research section talks about which of the following types of research focuses on ameliorating the prevailing situation so when we are talking about the prevailing situation finding a solution for the prevailing situation action research is considered as most optimum solution because you have an immediate solution to a problem so whenever you are looking for an immediate solution to the problem you have uh, action research that is uh, that is taken into account and this is a kind of community of practice which improves the uh, the way you solve uh, the problems the way you address a problem on a bigger area so that is what is very very important so those were some of the just the sample questions we have the years mentioned across each of the questions the kind of questions that commonly come up for net examination but yes research aptitude is an important section you have at least three to four questions coming from research and the level of the difficulty of the question mainly from the research and teaching has significantly increased in the last two uh, examinations for your 2019 itself the June and the December examination so for this uh, prepare definitely well you have to work hard with the section on research we have a lot of uh, content on research already up you can simply search the playlist on teaching and research aptitude that we have created separately to address these topics have a wonderful day ahead